folks welcome back to jerome b farm and homestead so uh we're getting towards the end of summer it's uh second week of september now so uh i have uh, one hive that's uh we found absconded and actually it's my third one hive number two so while i was down here cleaning that up i thought i'd shoot a inspection video so uh, we're going to check out hive number 16 it's the one on the left there in the front so uh that hive has never thrived in that location and i don't know why but uh just uh it hasn't made any honey uh ever in that location so and there's been multiple queens in there it's probably just a coincidence but uh i want to get in there and see what's going on see how they're looking uh, heading into winter so let's uh get the top off of there and uh, let's get started and see what we find it's going to give them a little bit of smoke The bees are uh, fairly <clears throat> aggressive this time of year. So uh, I had one hive go off on me last week and I don't want that to happen again. So uh, up here I see a nice healthy uh, population of bees up in the top, that's good. So I'm not running any beetle traps and I've only seen one high beetle so far. Looks like the majority, well actually, it's really heavy populated here, but there's bees all throughout, which is a good thing. So I'm just gonna give them a light smoke. Very light. So I don't wanna run my queen down. So look what I found. I've never used one of these, but I've seen them used. Not sure exactly how you do it. There we go. Yeah, that works much better. So we got us a full or all that's capped it's not completely full it's full on this side all signs so far is this is a very healthy hive got us a really heavy frame here it's completely full of honey another one that's complete full of honey And the third one. And the fourth one. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see some brood here in a second. Starting to get a few angry bees in there. It's not too bad yet. And this side's all honey. So is this one, it's uh, not all capped there at the bottom though. Thinking we might see some brood here in a second. So that's uh, mostly capped. A little bit of pollen in that one. Still no brood. One thing's for sure, this hive has plenty of honey stores. Yeah, this frame doesn't weigh as much. So here's a little bit of pollen around here and there's a few eggs right there. So got us a queen laying in here. Same thing here. So in these, so this is a brood chamber. So you can see the, you have honey, then pollen ring, and then here's where the eggs are. And she's just laid these. So what we know now is they have plenty of honey 
and it's a queen right hive with the laying queen and she's laid recently so we don't really need to see the queen we've seen the evidence of her thought I might spot her here So on this side we have the same thing. There's a lot of new eggs laid here. And on this side have some older. So there's your kept brood right there. There's your cap brood. There's a few uncapped larvae around that. So yeah, this hive is doing awesome. In fact, I might get that uh, empty. I have an empty honey super over there from that absconded hive. Oh, I smell alarm pheromone. Must have took a stinger on the glove there or something. Something really set them off. Smoker's about to go out. So I'm smoking here where these frames are going to go back together. I don't want to smash any bees. Okay, we got that closed up for now, but what I'm gonna do is I have uh, this hive number two right here was uh, absconded and uh, I didn't catch it early enough and we got a lot of wax moths in here, wax moth cocoons. And I've been going through these frames, uh, cleaning them up. They're pretty good shape except on the ends. So this was put back on after the harvest and this hive it either went queenless or it got too high a mite load and i'm suspecting mites because i have two other hives that did the same thing so i went ahead and did an oa treatment yesterday oxalic acid and i'm going to hit them again in a week but i'm going to for now i'm going to take this super i'm going to clean the rest of this up and uh, then i'm going to put it back on over there so that hive that's got all that honey, they'll have some more uh, frames to put honey in from the fall nectar flow. And another thing, uh, they, if, even if they don't put any honey in here, they will protect these frames from further wax moth damage and they'll get them cleaned up. So all that uh, little garbage there along the sides, they'll clean that up. And I've scraped all the cocoons off the ends and killing all the wax moth larvae that I can find. So I'm still going to get all these out of here. I'm not going to put it on with those in there. Okay, we're going to put the excluder on there. And if I did not do that, I could almost guarantee you the queen will go up in all these nice new drawn frames and she'll fill them full of eggs. Maybe not as bad since it's, uh, it's not a prime laying time, but uh, there's a good chance that she would, and we want honey up there, not brood. So I got this cleaned up pretty good. Got all the cocoons out, most of the web, scraped them all down. That stuff is sticky, so it kind of sticks on everything. But uh, the bees will uh, clean this all up and protect it till we're ready to pull it off of there in the fall, which isn't that far off. Okay, that's it for this hive number 16. So, uh, man, it is chocked full of honey. Uh, in the, 
later on when we're finding hives that may need some uh, feed, uh, we can pull probably a couple frames at least out of here and boost some other hives up with some honey stores. But uh, we didn't get into the bottom to see what it looked like down there, but chances are uh, there's not a whole lot going on down there uh, because the bees work their way up throughout the year. But uh, we got us a honey super on here, so maybe we'll get us some uh, goldenrod honey in here and some other fall honey. And, uh, but at least we're going to protect those frames. I don't have to worry about freezing them or getting them on moth crystals right now at this moment. So uh, that's it for this inspection. Give me a thumbs up if you would, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel on your way out. I appreciate that, and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.